Randy's feeling like a big shot after cutting his grass. You think that's hard work, Randy? You haven't done any real farming yet. What is this? Amateur hour? This is episode 17 of Elk Mountain. Good morning. It is early, early. Five o'clock here. We're getting the John Deere fired up. Grabbing our big class baler for the first time. I'm excited to use this thing. You know we gotta head over to that field nice and early. Deal with all that grass we cut up last month. It's been sitting out there. It's been nice and hot. Not too bad. I haven't been really worried about the weather damaging it at any means. So we're gonna get this done. I'm looking forward to it. Field's just right up ahead. We can get this unfolded. Looking good. We'll get it turned on and we'll get to it. Wanted to make sure the bale size was on the correct amount. I think it's 220 is, uh, oh, I guess I should lower <laughs> the intake. Come on, Randy. It's my first time. Give me a break. All right, lower. Oh, yeah. there we go. Okay. There we go. All right, we're rolling. Anyways, yeah, 220 centimeters, I think, is the maximum bale size that our wrapper can handle. So that's what we're going to go with. We could go bigger. I think this can support the bigger 240 centimeter, but we're not interested because we need to wrap. Um, I suppose we could do that for the hay ones because we're not wrapping those, but we'll keep it all uniform and consistent sizing. I like that. So we'll follow along these trails and get them all done. Watch, uh, watch the morning sun come up. Mostly all the hay done. We did miss a couple little spots, but that's okay. We'll just shoot out the extra here and get the grass ones done. Not sure how many we have total. If you have a good guess, leave a comment down below. I'm going to say eight hay, maybe ten. I don't know. It looks like a bit more than that. It's tough to tell, but we'll get uh, the rest of this done that lower down get the grass done up I'm thinking eight hay and maybe five grass yeah that's what I'm gonna go with we'll get the grass done here and then we'll get it wrapped up it shouldn't take too long you know if we got five or six grass bales right that shouldn't take too too long and we'll probably have to get the JCB down here um, with the F-350 and load them up onto there get them back to the farm it would be great to have an auto load trailer um to pick up the bales but uh not something we can afford right now you know 
uh, pr probably in a couple years, I'm thinking. Um, hopefully. We'll see how these cows uh, pay off, you know, and if we'll keep putting money towards them. I've well, got to turn around here. This morning, uh, atmosphere is just so nice. This morning, light, the deep, long shadows just cast from the tractor. It's actually just very pretty. The birds chirping. Birds? That was a cricket, right? Those are crickets. I don't know. <laughs> well, these grass ones are kind of tough to tell apart from the hay ones. I suppose they are a little bit more green. It's a lot easier to tell the difference when they're on the ground. And then we'll uh, start turning this field over. I'm excited. Looking forward to doing that. I don't know. if Do we get a plow and just start doing that right away? We'll see if we have enough time. But we do need to sell our soybeans today as well. Those are definitely... I think it's supposed to be the highest price of the year for the soybeans right now. So we'll get those sold today. And maybe that can buy us a plow. Who knows? But then we'll also need to start collecting rocks too. And that's just spending even more money. And as you can see... Weeds are growing over here. We didn't have a chance to get to them before they started growing. And use the weeder that we did buy. So... That's kind of unfortunate. We're probably going to need to get some new tires on one of the tractors and uh, start spraying that with herbicide because I'm not sure what else we can do at this point because they're getting fairly large. I think they're... Oh, man, they're more medium right now, but uh, they're too big for the equipment we do have. So that's unfortunate. We're going to need to put some money towards getting that done. And, yeah, it looks like we only have three... Maybe three and a half more lines to go for the grass. Getting it done pretty quickly. It is the smaller of the two that we're getting done. But I'm looking forward to it. We're finally getting some stuff done on the farm. It's looking good. This field is a fair size, and I think breaking it up was a good choice. Um, I don't think we're going to need... Oh, this is the shorter line. Dang it. It's like when a motorbike is parked in a full-size spot, but he's tucked in all the way. So you think you got a, spar a spot... And then when you drive up, it's like, oh, no, it's taken. It's just a bike there. Oh, okay. Well, kind of made it work. Two and a half, two and three quarters. Let's get it finished up. wasn't too bad. Oh, let's not hit a tree. I quite liked using this. Can we make it by the tree? Nice. I quite liked using this baler. It, uh, it's definitely big, but it gets the job done. One more popping out of there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six of the grass ones. I oh, don't know. We were pretty close with that. So we'll go pick up the wrapper and we'll get them wrapped. It shouldn't take too long. There's only six of them. You know, pulling this in to find a new home for it. And uh, we do have a windrower. God dang it, Randy!
figured while we were wrapping up grass bales, why not get these last couple that we've just had sitting here for way too long doing absolutely nothing. Let's get them wrapped up as well and turn them into silage. Because then they'll be kind of useful. They'll be cleared out of here and then we can use this area for storing hay. That seems like a good idea to me. But then again, a lot of my ideas are not that great. So who knows? But I think that's the play. These have been sitting there kind of useless for a while. At least they can be sitting outside kind of useless as silage for a while. But they'll be wrapped up. I do have the tractor with the wrapper parked up here. Probably have to put these in one at a time, I'm thinking. Let's see if I think we can do it while it's just chilling here. Let's see if it'll accept it. Yeah, you'll take that. Good. I did turn on automatic drop for this portion just because, uh, well, they're not really going anywhere. We're kind of just ma manually feeding it if, uh, if I could keep this on. That's a bit better. Is this going to yeet the tracker? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's just try and maybe if I could line this up a bit better. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, it wasn't happy with it, but it did all right. Let's go pick up the rest of our bales and get this done. That didn't work. There we go. Just need a little help. From old Brandy. Let's see if it'll take this next one. I have a feeling. Yeah, well, let's just scoot that one out of the way. If we can make it through without sending our tractor flying into the atmosphere, that'd be wonderful. Oh, don't take the telehandler. Alright, and let's scoop up this last one. Kind of an awkward little scoop around. The uh, all four wheels doing the, t the uh, steering on this thing really helps it be agile in some of these tighter spots. I say that as I take half a mile out just to turn around. And our last one. Get it put. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Sweet. We got that put in there, and we'll just take this right on out to our field. Because we're going to need it out there to collect those... What are they? Hay? Yeah, our hay bales. Hey, bale. What are you doing in that field? You need to be on our trailer. Went and picked up our uh, straggler friend bale that we left out there. And figured we may as well get these stacked up. That's why I brought them all over to one spot. Just to make things a little bit easier for us. And now we're out here. We just got the... Uh, the hay left to do so let's go grab the truck and we can get that done all right let's just get the park trucked up in the middle of the field here shall we I know what I said
right, we got that all loaded up. That actually went better than expected. First time kind of using the telehandler to put in some good work, and it definitely did its job. I suppose we could have used the front loader for it, but that was fun. It worked out well, and uh, we saved some more maintenance fees on the John Deere because we all know that was, uh, was not cheap. So we'll get this back into the yard and get uh, probably that hay unloaded back right into that shelter. Since we're just cleaning up the yard a little bit, and I don't think we need to buy any more for a little while, this trailer can get parked right there. Wonderful. Just going to get these parked in here for now. That way they're undercover and, uh, well, protected from the weather. That works. We will get them eventually unloaded because now that we have our other silage bales, just to keep it even with the hay ones, I'm thinking... We could probably get away with selling all of our round ones and just make some money off those. Load them up onto that same trailer, take them to the farm store, just not that, well, just right across from the, right across the river, right across our bridge. So that could be useful, something to keep in mind. Let's get this put away, it's done its job, thank you. Alright, so we're over at the John Deere, and uh, we're going to need to get this belt moved, because this silo is empty. So, that's okay. Our soybeans are in the other one. We'll just get this backed up. Back it on up over to this guy. Shouldn't take too long. Something like that. Should be good. Oh, well, you messed it up. Again, Randy, you just... Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. You had it the first time. Why did you even differ? The, the wheels, the turning wheels are so small on this thing. It's tough to see where you're going. No excuse. Oh, my God. I swear. Reversing is the hardest part of this game. All right. We got that in place. It's not the best, but it does the job. Let's see if we can reverse our trailer any better. Uh, that seems like it's not any better. I thought I had it, and then when I looked from a different angle, it was just way off. Crank the tires. Crank the tires. I swear I have a driver's license. Okay. That should do. This silo's empty? No! There's the soybeans. All right, can this whole trailer fill it? I don't remember. I don't think it was... Okay, we're just gonna ignore that that's not actually lined up for the belt. I swear it was, I don't know. Anyways, get this mostly fill. That looking pretty good, and we'll head on over to the store. Actually, I guess we should probably see where has the best price. We'll close the cover, and uh, we'll bring up the phone app. Looks like the feed store is indeed the best price. It looks like it's starting to drop already, but that's okay. June, July, 4000 last year was what it was going for, 4600 And we have almost another 5,000 liters left in the silo, so let's go make this first sale. I'm excited. This was like the first thing we harvested a long time ago. Many months, like last, what was it, fall? Gosh, look how far we've come. We've got tons of cows. They're just... Oh. Well, that could be a problem. Yeah. Whoops. We're out of gas. Jeez, I, I can't believe we did that. We'll probably have to go get some, like, a gas canisters or something. I don't know uh, if we have any laying around. But uh, just take some out of the chainsaw. But, yeah, that, that's, that's rough. We were just, we were doing so well, too. But I guess it is about lunchtime. The sun's high. It's noon. So, that's, that's okay. It's time for a break. We'll get some more gas. We'll get these soybeans sold. And we'll get the rest of our field turned over in the next episode. I'm looking forward to it. You guys have been loving it. I have, too. If you liked, leave a like. Drop a comment. Maybe subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to bringing you some more. See you in the next one.